I'm Shawnee Kaibatoni. I'm from Edgewood, New Mexico. And I am Larry Kaibatoni. I'm also from Edgewood, New Mexico, as you can guess. <laughs> <laughs> the first thing we saw when we pulled up was this little kid running with the plane with an American flag. And I was like, what is that little kid doing? And as we pulled up, it was like the whole town was out there waving. And as we got off the plane, everybody was thanking us and thanking him for his service. And I almost cried. It was just so moving. I was actually hesitant to come up here because I really dislike flying. I, I mean, I, I, honestly, I hate flying. It, it just brings back bad memories and painful memories. And I didn't really understand what Operation Heal Our Patriots was about. But it, I mean, it all changed when we landed. All my worries went away, all my hesitations, and I was like, this is going to be a good trip. I'm glad I made it here. The first full day we were here, I mean, we hiked four miles. You know, that was so much fun. And then I took a nap in a hammock, which was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I did some fishing. <laughs> Um, the energy here is different than other places. Everybody has a great sense of humor, which really helps. I served U.S. Army. I was a radar technician. It was pretty intense. Um, 2004, I was deployed to Iraq. And December 21st, 2004, there was a bombing in Zul, Iraq. And I was in that bombing, and it... Uh, it nearly took my life. The area where I was standing at, there were uh, three soldiers in front of me and three or four soldiers behind me, and they all didn't make it. I was the only person in that area that made it. But also, I was the only soldier there that still had all my battle armor, on my plaque vest. It was 22 that were killed, and there were actually over 100 that were wounded. I found myself, when I got back, I was very angry very violent. I was fighting with my wife, screaming, having the neighbors call the cops because they were worried. And that wasn't me. What the class is here, it teaches you to look beneath that small trivial thing you're arguing about because it's really about something more. I was saved that day for a reason. By all means, I should not be here. Today, I live. Recommit myself to God. Recommit myself to God. To you, Shawnee. To you, Shawnee. And to our marriage. And to our marriage. Yes, this has kind of given us a little bit more of a foundation of faith. So this has renewed that foundation and given us something to grow on. And we have found such a, a good common bond and we have just laughed and had just such a great time. It's just been amazing. No matter how dark of a place you're in, you come here and you find camaraderie, you find friends, you find people that listen to you. You come here and you find the light. It really is life changing.